Alaska Brewing started in 1986. Jeff and Marcy Larson were two young 28 year olds that had kind of a crazy dream. And at that time it was crazy because craft beer wasn't even a term yet. Back in 1986, we were immediately bottling. That was the first thing we did. We didn't even have a tasting room. It started with the Alaskan Amber, and that was a historic recipe that Marcy discovered looking through historic files. It's a recipe that we've dated back to 1907. So these are 1,300 barrels of beer in each one of these silos, and each one of these tanks has 1,400 barrels of beer. So this is brew two. This is the westernmost sort of section of our uh, brewery. So what's happening right now is the cans are coming through. They're sorted into one of the four different lanes. So the first bottle of amber rolled off the line day after Christmas in 1986. By 1987, the Great American Beer Festival, Amber, this beer, Amber, won the overall best beer in the land in Great American Beer Festival. So you can imagine for two young people to start a brewery in Juneau, Alaska of all places, to within a year be recognized as having the best beer in the land, that was a huge landmark for them. Well, we're in the Alaskan Brewing Tasting Room. This is a pretty new space for us. It's only a couple years old. And, but when you walk in this room, I love when you walk in, you just look up immediately and you see this beautiful mural. That mural is on the side of all of our crowlers as well and our growlers. We have 20 beers on taps and those are just, those are beers. We also have hard seltzers and we have a few sodas as well. And those sodas are only available here. We've never packaged those sodas at all. So out here is really nice because it's just a place where people can come and have a great time, hang out with a bunch of friends, or just kind of mosey around. I'd say locally now we've got things, we've got special beer programs, like we have a, what we call the crew brew. Essentially you just get two kegs off of it, and we serve that here in the tasting room only, so that's very local. We have our rough draft program, that's distributed in Alaska only. We get a really wide variety of people, traditional lager, American lager drinkers walking in, um, all the way to people who are very adventurous, coming here, hitting this place first because they know Alaskan brewing and they've heard about us for years and want to try the smoke porter or want to try the weirdest, coolest, wildest stuff that we've experimented with. So we wanted to give a full breadth of um, the taste experience for people when they came in.